Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Everybody is looking for the bottom of this market. Obviously, candlestick signals can help with that. But here's the, uh, the profitable aspect of candlesticks. There's already some strong reversals that have been identified. Now, if you were like me before candlesticks came along, I was always the one saying, oh, man, when was this market going to reverse? My long positions are killing me. But we can see now where the reversal signal area was. Remember, a very simple rule. If you see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line, you're in a downtrend and you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line. Now, remember, that's a candlestick signal. Notice that this wasn't quite a signal. Notice that this was not a signal. Notice this was not a signal. These were just up days in a downtrend. But also, notice the nature of the market. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That makes it very difficult to find a whole lot of good bullish positions or any positions that could uh, produce some good trading. So that's what you have to kind of analyze is when the nature of the market changes, which will also be included with the, uh, uh, the candlestick signals. So note what type of signal have formed in the Dow today. Kind of a hammer, uh, doji type signal. Is this a reversal signal? Remember what you need after a reversal signal. You need bullish confirmation. So because of the nature of the market, we have to see which way they open it and take it tomorrow. Maybe they will do a positive trading day confirming the signal. But we can't tell that yet because we're still trying to identify what's happening in investor sentiment. And we don't have anything telling us there's been a change of investor sentiment yet, except for the possibility that this might be a reversal signal. But here's the major advantage of candlestick analysis. This is what we call reverse analysis or reverse engineering analysis. Notice how we had a piercing signal and then a bobble breakout. That in itself is good information that you've got a good bullish chart. But what is, what is it also revealing? It's revealing that maybe the grocery store stocks are acting well. We can see what happened in Kroger, inverted hammer, doji, left-right combo. So we've got a market that over the past few days have sold off like crazy. And we can recognize Kroger, another grocery stock trading positive. A big left-right combo and UNFI, another grocery store. So what can you start concluding with very simple logic? You're seeing strong bullish signals in grocery stores. Probably that sector is being bought. That allows you to go into these positions with much greater confidence that they're being bought across the board with the logic that they're doing well with this uh, uh, crisis situation going on in, with the uh, virus. And that same process or the same signals. Uh, Rite Aid, big bullish engulfing signal off the 200. Notice what it has done. This is, so this is what our reverse engineering is. If we can start seeing these type of patterns in this market, that's pretty much telling us that's where the money is moving to. We can be buying those type of signals. And when we see that pattern set up, like we see in A net, got a very simple entry strategy. This is telling us this was acting strong in a very weak market today. So we know that if it opens positive tomorrow, we can probably be buying because it's telling us it's confirming the bullish engulfing signal and telling us it's not resisting at the T line anymore. Next target, next target, next target. And you don't need a, 
uh, relative strength indicator on your chart because you can see the relative uh, strength on simple scanning techniques. Zoom had a bullish day today, and it's setting up a J-hook pattern. Is that relevant? Well, first of all, the pattern itself is relevant. Secondly, the fact that the market was down 1,300 points today and they were buying Zoom tells you that is a place where the money is flowing to. So the simple scanning techniques, which is just common sense graphics of where the buying and selling is occurring, can put you in positions where there are already strong reversals occurring. We often profess that no matter which way the market's going, if the market is very bullish, you can still find some bearish uh, situations. If the market's very bearish, you're still going to be able to find some bullish situations. We're starting to already make money in this market by buying the bullish signals. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms. Remember, tomorrow night, candlestickforum.com. Uh, we will be doing a chat session on how to use the uh, T-line to confirm your buy signals. We'll see you then.